All right, we're back. Put some spark plugs in here. So I'm using uh, NGKs. I use a uh, BP5HSs. So that's an extended electrode like that. So it sticks in a chamber, gives you better burn. These are a lot better than stupid champions. Make sure you do not put a resistor plug in this motor. Anything with an R on it, don't use. We have a point ignition. No, no resistor crap. So I put a little anti-seize on the threads. So that's what this stuff here is. Do not put it on the electrode, that's bad. Just put a little bit on there, you don't need much. Yep, that's plenty. That's actually too much, it's right on the edge. We don't want to you know, chamber like that. Wipe that off. So put that in the chamber. Put a little bit right there on the side. You don't need it much, it spreads around once it goes in. So if you don't know what anti-seize is, it looks like this. It's called the anti-seize. It's pukey gray shit. It helps a little bit. So I tighten them up until they quit moving. Crush that spark plug washer, and I back it off, and I put a little torque back on it. Factory torque. And they're still as you loose after I run them. Alright, so I'm take the plug wires off, or spark plugs off, and then put up one of the actual spark plug we're going to use. Squeeze it a little bit tighter. Doesn't have a pop going on top. Plug wire is so so, I guess. Felt better. Okay, so we got that in there. I'm going to put the lift underneath the back of the bike here so I can put the thing in gear and run it. I don't like starting a new bike up without having everything running because the transmission is not being lubricated unless the whole thing's running. Only half the gear set is turning, the other half is dry. It can seize and gall up and have all kinds of issues if you want it too much in neutral. So you got to put it in gear and let it, let it get some oil flow. It also allows you to shift the transmission, see if it's working. Make sure you got at least a hand with a space and a tire so it can't grow and hit the table and try to launch. Because it'll do a big wheelie and take off and go flying if it catches. Not that I've ever done that on purpose. Maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and let the table go down a little bit. I'm going to put some gas in it. I need a long screwdriver and just the idle speed controller. There'd be a screw on the side of the carburetor. Okay, this is pump gas. It's not the M uh, M1 alcohol. That's the other container. There. And we're not gonna put nitro in it either. So this is called gasoline. Pump gas. We're lucky there'll be no leaks. That should be enough running fuel. Kind of dangerous without a cap on that, so gotta be careful. Alright, look at that, Scooby. Let's 
over here and see if there's any fuel leakage yet. Nothing yet. It's a good sign. Okay, put that out of the way so it doesn't catch on fire when it goes boom. I'm going to try to kickstart it because that's how I like doing them. We're up in the air a little bit. There we go. I need to check to see where this throttle is set up so I don't know if it's closed or open a little bit. Choke. Here's the good compression motor. Strap it down a little better. A little extra pull. Yeah, we already got gas and carburetor. We got Scooby. Scooby's going to try to help. So see how they've already got fuel all through here? That means we got gas and carbonator. Yep. So that means you got good suction on the rings. Okay, we're going to give it... Let me give it half choke. Let's see if that's enough choke. We don't know what's going to happen here, so... Are you looking at me or something else? I don't know. Scooby wants to go someplace. Yeah, you're going to get some noise in here, Scooby. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't make a big mess. All right, where's my screwdriver at? Right there. Okay. Okay, turn the ignition on. It didn't start yet. Hmm. Should have done something by now. Choking a piss out of it. Just got one lifter making a ton of noise. Stupid ass hydraulics. So basically, I flooded it. I give it three big kicks, fully choked, choked full off, throttle wide open, and kicked it twice in a little. How's that? I think bark's pretty loud. No fumes though. See, it's not smoking or anything. That's a good sign. They don't smoke right off anyway. So we got a little bit of flow, but I didn't look at it too much. I just saw I got some something squirted out, and then I don't like the valve ticking. So I got to start it back up and figure out which one of these two valves is making a noise. This one's quiet. So we had to lean this out a bunch. Turn the idle speed down a bunch. 
So let's see what we got here. We go half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. It's two and a half, so all it wants to be. So right there is two and a half. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. You get a couple clicks extra in case it's too lean for starting. And I said I was with no choke and I've done nothing here. I don't want to rev it up too much until we get the lift to calm down. Scooby, what do you want? You don't like all them noises? Get out of my way. Come on, go. Come on, go, 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 go. Look out. Get out of the way. Scooby's in the way. Okay, I'm going to try this again. A little bit of adjustments. Should start easier this time, hopefully. Are you back again, Scooby? Oh, the idiot light worked for a second. Oh, the oil pressure's back. Okay. Find out the main jet, or main adjustment, uh, turn. Makes it take the throttle better. Be back again, Scooby. Yeah, that lifter, I can't tell which one it's hammered so hard on the front, I can't tell the difference. Yeah, it's too low for the idle speed. Yeah, I thought it might be. The idiot light seems to be working again. Where the idiot can see it's working. Just vibrating hard. Uh, I'm starting to smell a little bit of fumes in here now. Hey, Scooby, Scooby don't like that. Might be a little exhaust fumes. Anyway, Scooby. Oh, 
shaking that much. Come on. It's not like we're shooting fireworks or anything. Yeah, you're good. Scooby will get over it. Scooby's good. All right. Good boy. He wants to go home. Yeah, you want to go home. Good boy. All right. So now we get to figure out what the hell is going on here. Got the carver halfway adjusted already. Now that will change once that front cylinder starts running though. Because right now we got very little lift on that one valve, which everyone's making all the noise. But I cannot tell at all which one it is. Easy to tell one or the other. It's hitting hard. Okay, now. Okay, that one's not working. There's no action to it at all. That's the one that's a problem. That one's hard. Which one are we on? We're not sure. Too hard to move the motor. Alright, we're definitely making a big mess here. Yeah, maybe I should collect some of that oil. <clears throat> Pull the valves out. Not valves. Damn it. Pull the spark plug out. Pull the valves out. Gee. Be a lot of work to pull the valves out. The spark plugs are easy. Change point gap a little bit. Yeah. That warmed. And yeah, they warmed up a little bit. And yeah, they're getting a little black, but not too bad. Yeah, I think the spark plug gap's just fine. Yeah, they're just starting to get a little heat in them. There's no oil on them, though, see? Dry. That's how they're supposed to be. No oil. Hopefully it runs long enough we can tell. Okay, where's my clip set? Look out, excuse me. Okay, I'm going to turn the motor over a little bit so we can tell what is going on here. Okay. So you take the lifter and push on it. If it moves, it's bad. That one's not moving. Oop. See how that one goes up and down? That one's not good. No way no. That one is not working. Probably all that noise is coming from that we're hearing. Be my guess. pretty good only one out of four was bad usually like almost all of them are bad and the oil, oil leak is the one that we just made the motor's dry okay 
Now we need to see about fixing these problems. Yeah, wrong side of the camera. Smell of fumes in here. You know, supposed to show up in the door up or something. Nah, nah, we do that. No reason to get carried away. It's cold outside, we don't want to do that. It's better to not be able to breathe and freeze. Now this push rod has to go all the way up in order to change out this lifter. That was the push rod popping back into the rocker up there. Honk noise. I wonder if the owner's going to make it by tonight. He's only got another 47, 48 minutes before it's tomorrow. Better hurry up and make it by today. He's going to come by and give me a visit. Okay. Goes up. Look at that, it comes right out like it's made to come out. Now hopefully this lifter will come out of the lifter body and not be stuck in there. That would be a problem. It appears to be coming up. He stepped that far for it quit. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Yep. Uh, So that's one of those ones we had to beat in, I bet, with a hammer. Great. Maybe we gotta take the whole thing apart to get that out. Let's see here. We'll try a little more force on it first. Or I can try a different plunger, but I don't think the plunger is the problem. Yeah, that's no way of getting under the damn thing. Yeah. Nope. There's no way to grab a hold of that thing at all. Mm. See, that's the problem. You got parts that don't fit together correctly. It causes all kinds of problems down the road. Just gotta deal with them. Come on, get your butt up there. Almost get a hold of the pole. What the hell happened? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's coming. There we go. Ooh, that saved a lot of work. All right. Got that piece of crap out of there. That makes me happy. Now we need a lifter. Who's got a lifter laying around? Well, no. She got a lot of fumes in this building. Okay, that's light. Yeah, we could do it in the dark. Oh, wrong switch. That switch. We need a lifter. Where are the lifters at? 
probably down here someplace where like lifters are up. Yeah, there's some right there. I think one of these might work. Maybe one of these. I got my pan that's separated from my 57. Drag bike. There's my new top pan for my drag bike. With my Spanish covers. If that towel pin don't work, I have that top in. And I got two more down here to choose from. <laughs> Working on it. When I get time to work on my drag bike. Okay, we're back over here. So we're going to have a nice, brand new lifter here. At least brand new to him. That's close enough, right? Yes, there's one right on top. That looks like a good one. How about that one? Ooh, that feels great. It's not too good. It's got oil in it. It compresses already. I don't know about that one. It does hold pressure like they want you to, though. But you shouldn't be able to collapse it. Yeah, that was the first one. Maybe there's a better one in here. How about this one? Looks this one looks almost this one looks brand new. Ooh, there it's not collapsing like the other one did. Perfect. We only have one problem. How are we gonna put the push rod in there? Push rod's too long. Okay, got pop the valve under here with a little push with a little paper clip. Be like one of these right here. Probably make a mess. Look at that. Look at the goo coming out of that thing. Yeah. Okay, now I can compress it a little bit. Do that again. Little check valve up under there. That's what that does. See, paper clips have lots of uses. Now, if we're lucky, this goes in the motor. Ooh, right in there. All right. I'm styling now. Come on, get up in there where you belong. Oh, hey, we looked at it, it went in. We're doing good. We might even have this running tonight. Cannot be tomorrow. Okay, now my hands are thoroughly full of oil. I'm wasting that good braking oil. Looks like the wireling's got oil on it, so it'll it'll keep dripping for a while now. Okay. Ah, still can't do it. Damn it. Things gonna be a pain. Here. I like removable kick arms. They get out of my way. Makes it easier. Okay. We hold that one and then screw this one, it's easier. Okay. Couple more flaps to get to zero. One, two. We'll go one more. Okay, so we're gonna start our countdown clock here. So we we'll go one, two, three, four, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, and 26. Got to go make up one extra plus our normal extra. That's actually only 24. It's look like 26. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. It's tight. I'm well lubricated. Not medicated, lubricated. Okay. Goes in there. And it goes like that. Oh, they slip back and forth easier now. Okay, look at that. We didn't waste too much oil there. Okay, give me back in a second. up with that. Okay, we use a little solvent for cleaning. Somebody evidently made a mess over here. I don't know anything about it. Okay, there you go. That cleans it all down. Somebody just made a huge mess. Okay. Get stuff out of my way. I need a whole bunch more liquid to choose from if I need more. Because they're all probably junk for a reason. There must be a hole in this bag someplace. Lifter's chasing me on the floor. Okay, so we gotta wipe this down. Put the spark plug back in it. Clean the rack off. Put the air cleaner back on. We got all kinds of work to do. And make, we already made a mess, so we don't have to make a mess at least. We already did that. Gonna undo a mess. Okay, let's get the camera out of the airstream. Clean up your mess after you make it, see? Yeah, needle seat's good. It hasn't leaked a drop yet. That's good. We rebuilt that cover to get it. Okay. That's a dirty rag now. Real dirty. Okay, we got that done. Up on here. This does make a difference in how they run when you don't have these air cleaners on here, or at least the vacuum plate. They actually suck a lot better if you have it on there. It screws up the air fuel mixture coming in. And I know why I left the locks off, see? Mattered. 
You can only bend the lock so many times before they break. But I do have more new ones. Try to stock all the parts you might need for normal maintenance. So. The problem is I stocked that for all years. That's why I got a lot of inventory. Got to have inventory to work on bikes. I don't know how these shops work on stuff with no parts. Can't work if you got no parts. Okay, that's back on. Good. Kick her back on. Might kickstart easier now too. It'd be a plus. It was hard to kickstart. Did we fix it, or is it going to make noise again? <clears throat> I think it's sliding off the rack, isn't it? What's up with that? Adjustable. Got to be able to stand on something. Okay, full choke. That'll be enough. Turn the choke off. Ignition. A little bit of throttle. You don't like me. Full throttle. Fire in the hole. Still got fire in the hole. No, sh shut the car down. to be happy. Neither. Come on. I'm tired. Yeah. Bike keeps moving over. Start as your mess. What'd you do to the bike, Scooby? Did you break it? Kicker still on it? Yep. Okay, full choke again. Okay, choke off. And we're just gonna get full throttle. Off. Damn, 
Got a pig. We got time to cheat. <laughs> Totally lost the damn engine. I don't know what the hell happened there. It didn't like it at all. I'm in second gear. Speed was going 120, 40, 120. It's all over the place. It don't know what it wants. Alright. Still clattering. Not as bad, but still clattering. Well, the neutral safety switch works. The bike won't start without the, being neutral. All right, should be initial now. Nope. No gear to have it in. Explains a little bit. Yeah, does it need gas? That might make a difference. Nah, couldn't be that. That'd be too easy.
fuel. Now is the idiot light going to work? There we go. Idiot light's working again. I don't know what happened with the starter, why it wouldn't start in that one spot. It just didn't like me to... It was picking on me again. At least the kickstarter though. Alright, so the, uh, the lifter is pumped up and working. It might have been the other one making a little bit of noise. That was the other noise was, but it's a little bit noisier in the front than the back, but they're both, you put your hand up here and you can feel them working back and forth a little bit. Pandas tend to make noises anyway, but we'll have to see if it calms down in use. I'm not sure what happened when the carburetor won't take fuel anymore. It might be just because it's out of gas up there. Scooby don't like that farting and banging. We had a good flame show there for a little while. What do you think, Scooby? Yeah, Scooby likes that. You like that, Scooby? Scooby didn't like that fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Scooby didn't like that. All right, look out. You're on my blade. All right, I don't know if the generator is generating. I'm not getting in that much into it. These lights didn't go out, so I'm assuming the generator is not generating because that light should have went out. That should be the generator light. This is a neutral light. Of course, this might be the high beam light if they have such a thing on this little bike. Got those lights on to do that. Yeah, the lights do work. That is probably the generator light, and it's not working. So what we got to do is uh, polarize it and see if that takes care of the issue. Fumes aren't too bad in here. We've been running it for you know 10 minutes, 15 minutes there. Probably 10 minutes. Okay, so to polarize, you have to go to the armature terminal which should be the red one. Need to get in here somehow. Hook that up down there. How long is this cable? Not long enough to go around, I don't think. Let's see, on these old bikes, so let's do Oh, I'm have to do it over here. Dumbass. The regulator's right in front of me. Okay, which one's which? Field is top, armature's in the middle, and, and the one right below it is the one you get arc to. Uh, pretty much all you do is put an arc between these two posts right there to do it but it's easy coming off the battery and just go like that a couple times that polarize the generator so maybe it'll actually run next it might go out next time it might just take a few minutes of running time before the uh, armature wears off all the corrosion on it it might be in there and starts work on its own you don't know okay well overall it uh, seems to be working I don't know what's going on with the carburetor. It quit working. I'm assuming it's just because it's out of fuel or low on fuel. But anyway, it doesn't kickstart real easy, which I don't like. It should kickstart easier, but oh well. It is what it is. We got no oil on the breather. That's good. So far, the only oil leak we had was the one that I purposely made up here. Still a little bit of residue up in there. I have to clean it to get that off. So. I think next time we're going to put the air cleaner element in there. I'll wipe this down a little more in here, put the cover up on here, and then we'll start it up again and see if it runs correctly again. And then I gotta get the brakes and stuff hooked up on it because all this stuff obviously is not on here right now. But overall it starts to run, that's what the owner wanted. He wanted to at least be this far before he drug it out of here. So we're a little bit past October into February now, so oh well. It uh, takes time to get them done right. So, but anyway, that's what it looks like there. So, we're pretty much uh, good to go for tonight, and it's not tomorrow yet, so I'm happy getting out of here early. So, we'll play with this more tomorrow.